Welcome back everyone to more gameplay of NR2003 and once again we're going short track racing as we prepare for the upcoming 2022 NASCAR season. So let's hop into the single player race. We are headed today to Stafford 2019 PST the day version and after spending just a little bit of time practicing at the track I can tell you two things for sure. Number one the track is absolutely beautiful. There has obviously been quite a bit of attention uh, to detail given to this track. It looks amazing. So very well done to the creators on that. And the second thing is the AI are extremely aggressive. Uh, I was hit in the rear <laughs> and moved out of the way multiple times, even before I heard inside or outside or anything like that. So they really want the bottom of this track, and they are not afraid to use the old chrome horn to get it. So today we're going to be running a 20% race, which equates to 40 laps. Should be interesting. I'm not even sure I can keep up at this track because it is fast. Drivers, start your engines! Okay, we are underway. Engines are fired, and this track has proven to be a struggle. I have tried multiple starts now, and it's just... Whew, it is tough sledding at this track. Now I have decreased the AI difficulty from 100 green flag, green flag. Oh, green, green, green. Uh, to 98. I did that because these guys, as I've mentioned, are fast. But I have now tried this race uh, multiple times. And it is just not working out. So the struggle is real here at Stafford. Car inside. And it's not so much about the speed, Clear although I did have to decrease it from 100 to 98, not which I'm still not sure is nine, enough, nine, four, given how nine. fast these guys are. But Keep beyond nine. that, the real Clear. struggle has been their aggressiveness. They do not give any room, Car and they do not hesitate to wreck you. If you are in the groove, they won't. Clear. Inside, 19. So, of course, what I want to do is treat them the same way they're treating me and not give them any room either. But yes, I have been moved out of the way, wrecked, all sorts of things multiple times in practice as well as now in these attempts to get racing. Part of the reason is we're using every inch of asphalt at the bottom of this track. It's not even the track outside. anymore. It's the apron that we're using as the racing groove, the primary groove. And then what would normally be, based on the painted lines anyway, the uh, bottom groove of the track is actually the second groove. Ooh, really tight there. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Ooh. At this point, I have to be honest, I, at this point I would just be happy if we could finish 40 laps, even if I finished dead last. Alright, let's see if we can make at least a few passes every Still once there. in a while. Stay low. Clear outside. 19.222. Outside. Still there. No. Nope. He's Stay holding low. me down very nicely. Not excessively so. That's not Still what I'm there. talking about. He's giving me room. It is very hard to pass down here. Tough sled. And once again, otherwise known as short track racing. Stay low. Clear. Car outside. Clear outside. Car outside. It's fun though. It's aggravating because I know I can get by this guy and get going but I just simply clear. cannot clear him clear. properly on corner clear. exit. He's able to get such a better run than I am off the corner. Keep low. 
19.346. Keep low. Keep right low. there, I cannot get in the middle of the corner. I cannot quite get the rotation I need. Clear outside. Outside. There we go. Clear outside. Car outside. 19.1. He's sticking with me though. I finally got Clear. what I needed that last outside. time. Let's see if I can continue that. Clear outside. Right down to the grass on exit. Get that left front right down there on it. But yeah, you can see everybody's using the apron as the primary groove. Not terribly surprising in a short track like this. I don't know enough about Stafford in real life to know whether or not that's the actual groove or if it's up maybe into the what would be the painted grooves. Ah, uh, actually got the car rotated too good there. 19.260. We'll try to diamond this thing a little bit. We've got to get some sort of rotation out of the, the middle of the corner. Because I'm not getting that right now. Nineteen point oh four four. You can see the leaders are not far behind. So this is going to be one of those tracks where we're fighting not to get lapped. Once again, I can get that thing to rotate, but then sometimes it rotates a bit too much. Let's just make 40 laps. Or at this point, anything close to 40 laps. 19.144. So much grip here. So you can see I'm trying to run a little bit different line as much as I can to try to find any kind of speed. Here comes the leader. Ooh, look out there. All right, so that flashing red at the top of the screen is to let me to know that I am off the pace. And that the leader is almost here. Comes the leader. 19.112. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to be able to do with the 09 here, if anything. But Quapple is coming. 19.29. Here comes the leader. And he has run us down quickly. I have no idea how he's getting through these corners so quickly. Oh, and there was a little love tap for me to move me up out of the way. Appreciate that, Sir Quap. Actually, that was gentle uh, compared to what I have had here in other attempts at practice and the race, that was gentle. That felt like a gentle reminder that, hey, I'm faster than you, I'll be coming through. All right, so I'm sure he's gonna give the same treatment to the guy in front of me, who is, who is that, Boulder. You can see second place is not 
sticking with the leader. So Quapo has gotten away a little bit, and running some very good lap times. 19.292. This is just the way it is at short tracks. When you get somebody who's got it hooked up, they can run away and hide. We see that a lot at Nashville. Of course, in this race, uh, you don't have to worry about tire wear. But at Nashville, a lot of times, the guy who starts out just running away with it is really abusing his tires and over a long run he comes right back to the field and ends up running fifth or worse we got just 10 more to go 19. Oh, two, hello three. okay oh, yep i got it oh come on sterling don't do that to me <laughs> sterling did not waste any time he got me right at corner entry Day high. Clear. Which was pretty hilarious. Again, these guys are being gentle right now. And I say gentle because anything that doesn't end up with me spinning out or in the wall is gentle. So this track is going to be one of those friendly reminders that you don't always run up front. Sometimes you get humbled. <laughs> this is one of those. And keep in mind, I'm at 98% on this. Woo. I need a lot of work done on the setup, or I just need to accept defeat. And I'm definitely not going to spend a lot of time on the setup here at this track, so I guess I'm just going to accept defeat. Because I don't feel like I'm doing terrible, terrible. You know, there's always going to be more speed I could pick up, and in this case, I definitely feel like if I spent more time... I could get that done. However, I don't feel like I'm that much off the pace. You know, like getting lapped in 20, 25 laps or whatever it's been. Just five more to go. Just five more to go. Three, eight. Woo! The mercy rule which states that at some point you will run out of laps. And sometimes, that's good. Ah, too tight there. I'd gotten into a pretty good rhythm with the car. But you can see Bolden is giving these guys all sorts of trouble. Apparently they didn't give him the chrome horn that they gave me. And the way these guys are able to run that bottom right on the apron and still maintain that speed is impressive. Alright, final time. So is this the white flag for me or the leader? Because we are lap down. White flag. One more lap to go. All right. All right. That answers that question. Eight, two. Inside. Uh-uh. Don't do it. Still oh. there. Clear inside. Woo. Okay. That was close. There's the flag. It's I saw over. him coming there at the last. Who was that? Okay, that's it. We'll get him next time. <laughs> yeah, we'll get him next time. We gave it the old college try, but it did not work. But yeah, whoever that was that was coming for, I think he was in fourth, third, fourth, fifth, somewhere in there. But he came up, and I could see him at the last second try to put that nose in. And I thought for sure he was going to put me in the wall right there. But some contact, but at the end of the day, we survived. And that's really all I care about at this point. So Stafford, tough, tough track. 
The AI race hard. They're fast. It was fun, though. It was fun. Especially, I feel like if I could have actually fought for position, say at least mid-pack, that could have been even more fun. But it was not to be today, and it's certainly not to be in the late models. So that's going to do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed finishing last as much as I did. And we'll see you next time for more NR 2003.